former U.S. Senator wants hearings on what the military knows about UFOs, they would be surprised at how the American people would accept June 17, 2019 Former U.S. Senator wants hearings on what the military knows about UFOs almost two years after the public was informed that the Pentagon has created a secret program to investigate UFOs at the request of former Democrat Majority Leader Harry Reid. Now the former senator is urging Congress to investigate what the military know about its existence. Speaking to Nevada's KNPR, Reid said he wants lawmakers to hold public hearings on what the military knows. He said during the interview, they would be surprised how the American people would accept this. People in their individual states would accept that. Reid, who made $22 million in funding for the study of UFO sightings, said his office produced a myriad of reports on the subject. He added, this money was spent developing page after page of information where people in the past have seen things, not one person, but hundreds. As a result, there has been a lot of activity ever since. Reid said he would like more research on a topic he sees as a matter of national security, noting that he believes both Russia and China are studying the issue. In December 2017, both The New York Times and Politico published stories revealing the now-defunct Pentagon's now-defunct now defunct program for aerospace threat identification. The New York Times said the UFO program began in 2007, while Politico reported that it began in 2009. Last month, the Pentagon admitted to the New York Post that it is still actively investigating sightings of alien spacecraft, despite alleging that it ended the AATIP program in 2012. U.S. Department of Defense spokesman Christopher Sherwood told the Post, The Department of Defense is always concerned with maintaining a positive identification of all aircraft in our operating environment, as well as identifying any foreign capability that may be a threat to the country. The department will continue to investigate, through standard procedures, reports of unidentified aircraft found by U.S. military aviators in order to ensure the defense of the motherland and protection against the strategic surprise of our nation's adversaries. Reed's thoughts on the subject come from public comments from the U.S. Navy and former government officials. In April, the Navy began drafting new guidelines for pilots and other officials to report encounters with unidentified aircraft. The new approach comes in response to more sightings of unknown and advanced aircraft flying in or near Navy attack groups or other sensitive military installations and formations, according to the Navy. The Navy said in a statement to Politico, There have been several reports of unauthorized and slash or unidentified aircraft entering various areas controlled by the military and have designated airspace in recent years. For security reasons, the Navy and the U.S. Air Force take these reports very seriously and investigate any and all reports. We know that UFOs exist. This is no longer a problem. Former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Intelligence, Christopher Mellon, last month, former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Intelligence Christopher Mellon told Fox and Friends that the Navy has the right to worry about unexplained appearances. Mellon who wrote on the subject and is associated with the History Channel series, Unidentified said, We know that UFOs exist. This is no longer a problem, said Millen. The question is why are they here? Where do they come from and what is the technology behind these devices we are observing? There are indications, Mellon said, that the objects reported by Navy pilots in 2014 and 2015 and mentioned in a bombastic New York Times report were doing things that are not possible in this physical realm. The speeds that were reported about 8,000 km per hour, according to Mellon were only sustained for about an hour by an aircraft in the air, and those objects would be flying all day, the pilots said. Mellon continued, The pilots who watch these ships are absolutely confused and this is clearly reflected in their public statements. In January, the U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency released disqualified files that revealed the funding of projects investigating UFOs, earthworm holes, alternative dimensions, and other obscure topics that typically lead to the brink of conspiracy theory on the web.